in 1977, um, I went to Ireland for the second time. The first time was with a friend of mine from Lausanne, a French architect who uh, hosted me when I was playing in Switzerland. And he was very big into um, Irish music. And he was playing concertina. And he said to me, I go to Ireland every summer if you want to come with me. So we had this R16 Renault and we went to uh, Ireland, I think it was in 76, a summer, and we spent one month. And uh, it was amazing, you know, to, to, to be in that country, to, to meet the people, to, um, to see some places like Dublin, but also the West Coast and Connemara and Donegal. And then I made contacts, connections, and I was invited to come back the year after to tour. It was in 1977. And I toured also in the north of Ireland, where it was unsafe and those big problems, you know. And I ended up playing in a place called Warren Point on the coast. And after my show, uh, a guy by the name of Alistair came and spoke to me and he said, I'm a very good friend with a luthier who is from uh, County Down, not far from here. He, he could not come tonight, I apologize, but we'd love to meet you if you have some time tomorrow before you head off. Would you, would you come by his workshop? I could not, you know, I had to get my way back to Dublin. I said, I apologize, I, I, it's not going to work. He said, in that case, maybe would you recommend us to a, a store that you will know in Paris where we could go on your behalf? I said, sure, you know, go and visit my friends uh, Gérard and Jean-Luc Charnot. They have this amazing store and they would be very happy to, um, to meet and uh, to support you if they like what this guy does, you know. I didn't even didn't remember his name, you know, it was George Loudon, but it, you know. And then months go by and I'm home and I receive a call from my friends in that store. This is Gérard Charnot calling me and said, Pierre, you have to come and visit us. We received those amazing guitars from Ireland. Oh, from the north of Ireland? Yeah, from the north of Ireland. And then I remembered meeting Alistair, you know, I, he said, you know, did he tell you that he came on my behalf? No, he did not. <laughs> so I said, okay, fine. Okay, I come and, and have a look, you know, I come and have a look. So the next day I came and so there were six loud and guitars in that store and um, fell in love with it right away, just by watching them, looking at them. And then I took one and the sound was just like out of this world. I first met Pierre, um, I would say it was 1979. Uh, which was about a year after I made his his guitar. Um, <clears throat> what happened was that I made a guitar for a good friend of mine, uh, Alistair Burke, who took my guitars to a shop in Paris called uh, Folk Cacomfa, uh, if I haven't got the pronunciation very good, but that was a very good guitar shop in the centre of, of uh, Paris. And I believe that Pierre first came across my guitars there, and then after that I built one for him um, in 1978. I wrote to George. At that time there was no fax, no email, nothing. It was just letter or phone. So first I called him and then I wrote to him to order my first Loudon. And he said to me, I cannot give it to you, Pierre, you know, but I will make you a very special price. And I, I bought my Loudon for 250 pounds, carton case included, a blue marine Calton case and Alistair came a few months later to deliver this guitar to me in Paris. And it was my, what was called much later on, um, the old lady, because now this guitar is retired, we have been playing, you know, thousands of shows to the world. And uh, that's how I met, I met George. I met George through the guitar first. And then we met when I came back to Ireland to play and we became, you know, good buddies. And we have been, um, friends since since then i've been playing loud and guitar since 78. i think it was the following year that he uh, visited me in ireland in the workshop and we did some a little bit of a television interview and so on it was very nice um, my you know first impressions of his music were really that he was unique really unique i had at that time only heard um, either folk or blues being played on acoustic guitar. I'd never 
or a little bit of jazz as well. I'd never heard anybody playing um, such a, a ethnic, if I can use that term, such an ethnic mix of music. There were influences from North Africa, influences of jazz, influences of Irish music, of course. And I was very taken just with his ability to express himself through the music um, in a way which I hadn't heard before. So for me really to be asked by him to make a guitar, um, I, I think it was a great privilege and I remember being very uh, inspired to do my best work. It's a beautiful um, relationship with a lot of integrity and sincerity. Um, I've been approached by other luthiers over the years, but I'm open to playing other guitars, obviously, but I never really came, up, came across anyone who was anything strong enough to take me away from Loudoun. And so, despite anything, I remain very faithful to Loudoun guitars, and we approached him not too long ago so that we could um, have him being part of this uh, 40th anniversary thing uh, with tours and trying to support each other, to help you know, each other the, the best way we could for this. And he said, you know, it's a coincidence. I am also celebrating my 40th anniversary. I said, wow, so it's two of us now. Are we, are we that old? So, no, no. Anyway, so we thought that it would be a great idea to have a a uh, very special edition signature guitar made for this, so we are going to talk about this and probably have it available for the beginning of the year, you know, to be a limited edition to, uh, to accompany this beautiful event. It's our joint 40th anniversaries next year. I began to think what would be a good way to celebrate that um, for both of us. And so I began to think back to the, to the old lady, to his old lady. And what I've decided to do, and having talked to Pierre about it, um, the 40th anniversary signature model for Pierre is going to be a complete reissue of his old lady. Because back then there were certain things that I was doing with the internal voicing, with the dimensions of the sound box, um, <clears throat> with the, uh, the particular way that I voiced his guitar to suit him and with the woods that I used back then that I'm going to completely reissue that now in detail uh, so that anyone who wants to achieve that sound that Pierre achieved may be able to do that. Um, at least they'll have the guitar that they can do it with.